Hi everyone, Terry Van over here with Choosing to Rise, and I'm a divorce strategist, and I help you come through divorce without being legally, financially, and emotionally devastated. But just as important, I help you to heal from this difficult process and from your divorce so that you can transition confidently into that next phase of your life. And today, I'm going to be talking about why your first call should not be to an attorney. So many people have the, the misguided notion that, you know, their spouse has said, I want a divorce, or they are really, they're ready to get this process going, and the, they pick up the phone, and they think the first call should be to an attorney. And I'm going to tell you why hiring an attorney can actually be a mistake. Is If that's your first step, that can be a really, really big financial and time mistake, and here's why. As a divorce strategist, I know that there are some things that you need to do prior to, to hiring an attorney, or there's some things that you can do that you don't need your attorney to tell you to do that will save you time and money, particularly um, when it comes to, for example, let me give you an example of getting your financials in order. So what I have seen, if you go and threaten your ex with a divorce, you say I'm getting um, a divorce, and then you go hire an attorney, let me tell you that amplifies the animosity and oftentimes people react and it triggers your ex. And so it, you know, then they become less cooperative. They become angrier. So before you do that, there's some things you should know and put into place before you go off and do that and make your ex very, very dif uh, difficult and, and angry. And one of those things is to go get copies of everything that you have as a couple, all your financials, get all the bills and debts and mortgage statements, uh, retirement statements, all those things that you need. You need to get those all in order. And you can do that without the attorney. Your attorney is going to ask you for those things. So it's good to go ahead and get those things because what happens is once the attorneys get involved, the process just escalates, the anger escalates, the emotions escalate, and people start hiding assets, they start, you know, changing their passwords, so it starts to become a much, much more difficult process. So, in addition to that, you need a divorce strategist on your team because you need to know the right questions and the right tools so that you're choosing the right attorney. What caused so many people time and money and energy is they choose the wrong attorney, right? You probably heard that old saying, oh, I went out and hired a bulldog attorney. Well, listen, that may not necessarily be your best bet. There are some different attorneys that are good for different situations. And not only that, you may not need to do the traditional divorce route, uh, a, you know, contested divorce where you each hire an attorney and you go back and forth in court, blah, 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 blah. There's all kinds of options that many people don't even know about that you can utilize that are more effective, that are less, um, you know, less negative and less um, disruptive. They're, they're, they're less time consuming. So there's some, some other options besides the contested divorce and the traditional divorce that you, you should know about, or at least know what your options are. Also knowing uh, which attorney is right for your situation is really important because some attorneys that are aggressive may not be a good fit for you, may not be a good fit for the, the situation and those types of things. Whereas in some situations, you might need an attorney that, that is more proactive and takes a, a, a much um, quicker stand. And you need to know that because here's the thing that a lot of civilians, lay people don't understand. You are the attorney's boss. But let me tell you, this process is so overwhelming, so confusing. It's so full of legalese and, and language we don't even speak that, you know, we kind of give all our control. We give all our power to the attorney and attorneys make assumptions that perhaps, you know, things that you don't know. 
or that you've asked all the right questions. So it's important that you have a team that is helping you make sure that you are being guided correctly, that you're asking your attorney to um, do the right things, that you understand what you're entitled to. And there's some things about um, working with your part, working with your attorney as a partner. This is a partnership. So oftentimes with my clients, we get together and we come up with a strategy plan to present to the attorney so that they can work through what it is that they want and what it is that they need so that they're a better, more effective partner with their attorney. So you need to know all the right questions to ask. You need to know what you're entitled to. You need to make sure that you're you're not going out there and rushing to hire the first attorney because look, I have been through divorce and I made all the wrong mistakes when I went through my when I went through my divorce. I was so overwhelmed. I felt so out of control and so lost and just emotionally unable to to navigate this process. You know, I was so emotionally strong that I really did not make very good rational decisions. And the decisions that I made affected me for the rest of my life. You know, at one point I was homeless. I lost all my financial credit because I didn't know what I should have been doing with my home, made some poor decisions there. I went through two attorneys, two failed mediations, and it was two and a half years of a traditional litigated divorce. And so I know all the mistakes that you can go through during this process and how overwhelming it is. So not only is it important that you have the right team and you have the right people guiding you, but also that you have someone helping you navigate these emotions and navigate this, this very stressful time so that you can feel more in control, so that you can feel like, like you know that you're making the right decisions and so that you can look back at your divorce and say, you know what, that was the worst time of my life, but I did the best that I can. Because honestly, I can say that I did not do that. When I look back, I look back at all the mistakes I made, how distraught I was. Um, there are some things that I know that if I'd done differently, I would be much happier with. So I want you to be able to look back at your mistake and not be full of regrets. And, and know that you did the best that you could and you, you were had all the education and all the resources you needed to make the best decisions that you can make. So listen, if you if you want to talk about your situation, reach out to me. I can um, offer you a complimentary phone call and we can talk about your specific situation and, and how how what you might need as you're choosing an attorney or as you're going through your divorce and how how you can more effectively navigate this time. So I'm Terry Vanover with Choosing to Rise and I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks. Bye-bye.